Some people may wonder, you don't have your glasses on. Well, let me put them on. Now you might ask, well, why did I put my glasses on? That brings me to the thought for the week for instructional soul food for thought. Team Soar, I put my glasses on so that I could see clearly. And that gets me to the objective for this week. Clear learning objectives or learning topics. Um, sometimes we call them essential questions. Sometimes we may call them um, our objective. We may call them all different types of things. Ultimately, we want to be sure that we are intentionally writing a clear learning objective, utilizing perhaps our essential questions, but that it adds some rigor and that scholars are clearly able to identify whether it's on the board, whether it's in their textbook, wherever it may be, even if it's they're writing it on the top of their perhaps note-taking page. We want to be sure that it's intentional and it's clear, but it also provides two things. Well, it provides multiple things. I won't say two, but two different groups, okay? It speaks to two audiences. Number one, it speaks to our teachers in the fact that you're able to gauge student mastery and be able to monitor and adjust. When we get to the gradual release of responsibilities, when we move down to two or you in the gradual release model that we reviewed, if you have your learning objective clearly visible, you can see based off as you monitor throughout the classroom where a scholar is, if they've gotten that concept, or if there needs to be a, a second opportunity to have a reteach or with you at your teacher table to reinforce the areas that are still needing further development, okay? Secondly, it gives you a formative assessment tool. You're able to then utilize what you see in the classroom as a part of that monitoring adjust, but at the end of the lesson, when you're identifying those student successes, and then you're able to say, based off of my learning objective for the day, the students would be able to do, let's say, determine the main idea of a paragraph of writing to be able to then provide a summary of an overall piece of reading in a text. Well, at the end of the form, as we use the formative assessment where scholars are, have written out a summary, we're then able to say, hmm, I don't have quite all of the details I think that I needed, or they may, they missed a couple of different things that I really wanted them to get in this particular lesson. These are why writing those clear learning objectives are great, a great skill for teachers to have. Additionally, it also distills the curriculum in some meaningful chunks, meaning as we're chunking information along our lesson plans and our guides that we're utilizing, uh, particularly perhaps our curriculum maps, if you will, when we're using those, we're able to then be able to strategically place just a small segment of a greater expansion across different disciplines. This also will resonate with project-based learning. Okay, how does it resonate with our scholars? Well, a couple of things. Number one, scholars will then be able to know what questions they may need to ask if they're uncertain about a specific area in the learning objective for the day. Perhaps they want to know where can I go in a piece of text to get the main idea sentence or that topic sentence to begin my summary over a whole piece of writing, okay? Perhaps they can reflect on their own learning and then have a visual reminder in the classroom. Many of our scholars may have um, ADHD or have other different um, ex circumstances that might... Mm, interfere with their ability to have that sole focus. But then if they have a place that they know they can always go, perhaps it's on the board, perhaps it's a specific wall in the classroom that I can go if I'm needing to refocus and drive in what was that overarching goal that we're going to get to through this lesson today. That's going to help those scholars with that academic learning time and that additional time on task. I know it's been a lot this week. I know that my video's a little long, but I know that we've got to be intentional when we are writing the learning objectives, essential questions, etc., that they resonate and they are utilizing academic vocabulary that our scholars can clearly adhere to and be successful. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Thank you.